Well, good evening, YouTubers. Morning, afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever. Um, first off and foremost, a massive, huge shout out to my wee man, my little son, Kieran, who is by far the most awesome guy I know. Damn it. And what a little trooper he is. Just got over a water infection. Was actually rather nasty. Um, I only saw the beginnings of it, but little bugger suffered a bit. So I'm glad he's over that and feeling much better. He's my little guy. Love him to bit. Shout out to his mother as well. She's amazing. Well, she puts up with me. She's got to be. <laughs> um, Skeggy, big shout out to you. I have done my bloody about me. I know I said it in the last vlog I did, but I've done it, so you can stop yelling at me. Um, so recently, I went on a bit of a wild camp with my brother. It's a, I wouldn't say hobby, but it's an activity we both enjoy doing. Prepping and activities and whatnot. We got a lot of joy out of it, so we thought we'd give it a go. You know, October, end of October. Why not? You know, what's the worst that could happen? Hmm. Hurricane warnings in the UK. Yeah, that would be the worst that could have happened, but it did, so. First and foremost, I learned a lot of valuable lessons because a lot of mistakes were made. You know, we didn't go to be professional about it. We didn't go knowing everything. We went because we wanted to learn things. I learned a lot, personally. Um, <laughs> I figured just, you know, kipping on the ground and having a good sleep on the deck would be nice. I cleared up a lot of the debris from where I was going to be sleeping. Made a fundamental judgement in error, though, that once all the soft mud had been pushed aside by me moving about a lot on it, it would expose roots with large spiky bits sticking out of them. So what was meant to be a comfortable sleep in the woods ended up being, well, 12 hours of wriggling, waking up in the middle of the night because my brother's snoring and that bastard root in my back. Could have been worse, could have been better. Um, it rained for about nine hours non-stop. There may have been little five second breaks, but for the most part it was non-stop. Then... In the morning we got up at about half five, cleared our gear up and got out of there as soon as we could. And uh, then it did nothing but piss down the whole way home again. But on the whole, it was a good weekend because we learned a lot. We took far too much equipment. Far, far too much. <laughs> we had gear. So then we thought, right, we're going to be walking up the side of a mountain with this stuff. We better halve the amount we're carrying. So we did so. We took half the gear, we halved it, packed our bags and went. Upon getting to our camp location, we didn't need most of the stuff we took with us anyway. Yeah, the tarp, the ground sheet, the sleeping bag, all that was needed. Because, you know, we got to sleep. Guide ropes, bungee cords, that sort of stuff. We all, it was all needed. It wasn't wasted. But at the same time, we took a lot of stuff, like, I was carrying near four litres of water. I used a litre through the night, and that was with making food, cooking food and drinking. I used about half a litre to a litre. Yeah, I'd say about a litre, actually, because there was washing and stuff as well. So all told, three litres carried for nothing. Then there was equipment. I had uh, two knives and a machete for use of foliage and whatnot didn't use the machete except to break off some branches that were in the way. Knives, I used one of them to open one of my packets and the other one I used to make a temporary tent peg. Uh, as far as using my equipment goes, I could have done all of the above with one knife. So that was a waste of time. Um, I could go into more and more detail about everything that I took and everything I didn't need, but let's put it this way. I counted up the items in my bag individually. 24. Of the above, 14 will go back in the bag, the rest to stay out. 
10 items 10 now one of them is water one bottle of water two liter there was no way I needed that much water but that's how much I took because you know you don't want to be caught without water but knowing how much I drink and how much I'd need for that night even though it was cold and whatnot uh, Jesus it was like the walk up the mountain was so tough fortunately with it being water I could dump it while I was up there just dumped it into one of the little streams thank fuck if I had, had to carry all the equipment down with me and the water still I'd have been in agony because my back was giving out just getting up there but like I say it was a good trip because I learned a lot not because everything went well but because we did what we wanted to do we learned what we needed to learn and next time it'll be a lot more efficient a lot better planned and we now know that going in rough weather is not a good idea you can say as much as you want I'm hard as fuck me I camped out in October in hurricane force winds at the end of the day it's also stupid and I wouldn't advise it because you're cold you're wet and it's not comfortable I didn't sleep well primarily my brother's snoring which did actually have its uses uh, about 11 o'clock at night wood, uh, wildlife in the woodland was getting pretty close to us because we weren't making all our noise then Martin started snoring again that had untold benefits because as soon as he started snoring the area went deadly silent except for him but other than the weather, the wind, the rain and everything there were no wildlife animals near us because they didn't like the sound of his snoring they bolted I was like, wow, that's cool. But I think, of all the things I'm going to change for my next camp, the one thing I'm definitely putting on my wish list, and this is to you, missus, um, a hammock. I don't need a cook stove, I don't need this, I don't need that. I need a fucking hammock. And, well, actually, the sleeping bag was pretty good, even though it was cold, so... I think the hammock will, uh, just the hammock will do. Crimbo, yeah baby. But yeah, it was just fucking ugh, lesson learned. We did Snowden when it was, well, covered in snow, which wasn't advisable. We went off the chosen route, which was stupid. We ended up climbing a rock face. And then now we've done this one where we've gone up in October when there's been severe weather warnings. You know, you're pushing your luck basically every time you go out with me and my brother but we're not idiots to the extent that we'd hurt ourselves or endanger ourselves we just get on with it so yeah lesson learned on that one. Oh, come on it's not raining that bad yet <laughs> So yeah, shout out to me wee man, you brilliant little buggy. Uh, shout out to the missus, she is perfect, couldn't ask for better. Um, Skaggy, leave me alone, look yelling at me. And camping, went camping, was fun, we'll do it in better weather. <laughs> uh, I expected that topic to go on a lot longer. Oh shit. Please break, motherfuckers. <laughs> that was close. Well, from your perspective, it probably looked like I had miles. But. I don't want to say I've got excellent reaction times but I saw that brake light because your perspective is higher up so you can see over the roof of the car in front of me. The Mazda in front of me masks those tail lights on that van perfectly. Like you can see them now but I can't. I'm literally, all I can see is the black at the back of the van. Oh, that's fucking scary how I couldn't see that. Well, that's food for thought. All my little vloggers. 
remember to look through cars over, around and under because the sneaky fuckers won't let you see shit clean and good? yeah sweet Oh, felt the back end moving a bit then. No, 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 too fast. There we go. Ah, it's a mixture of wet and dry roads at the moment, so I don't want to push me luck. But at the same time, there's a part of me that goes, yeah! There's also a part of me that goes, I can't fucking see, because I'm but I can't. Ow. Oh, well that was blinding, and I've got a white spot in the middle of my fucking vision. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Du -du 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 -du. Pop, pop, pop. getting my gears again. Yeah. Alright, that's the topic. Um, I'll add it on. <laughs> I've got a couple of minutes. Oh, two or three minutes. Um, gears. And this is a six speed. One down, five up. I had a one down and four up before. And now I'm on this. Thank you. Um, so it's actually... I shouldn't be struggling, but I am. Like, I know I'm in third now, and I'm going to go fourth, and then I'm going to sit. But, you get distracted by someone like someone's headlights or whatever, and that number you're holding in the centre of your mind... Oh, sorry, I got wind. That number that you've been holding on to in your peripheral... You know, that bit of your brain right there, where you need it. You get distracted, like, ugh, and that number, gone. You're like... What gear am I in? Ah, oh, fuck! Now these bikes are very forgiving and doesn't matter what gear you're in, you can pretty much get away with anything. I've pulled away in second because I've forgotten to go down an extra one. But at the same time, you've got to keep that in mind because if you approach a corner and think, I'm in third, fuck it. And then you just like, all right, I'll go down one, release the clutch and you're actually in second or, I don't know, say you're in fifth and you haven't realized, you think you're in third because you're an idiot, like me. <laughs> and you lose the clutch the bike will suddenly just go it'll either lurch just, and try and go or it'll to a stop because of the gear ratios both have happened to me before I had my camera so I know what they're like and that's the thing you forget you just oh what, what gear am I in so you'll often see me in videos going down 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 right there's first second and third back up yeah that's where I am such a noob thing to do I should be keeping track of my gears plus this is such an old bike it doesn't actually have um, what gear you're, it doesn't show you what gear you're in it doesn't show you your fuel level I'm lucky if it shows me what speed I'm doing <laughs> it isn't now because it's a bastard I love it though so you know you just this bike's old school it's basically the shit you need to know and that's it don't ask for more because you're not getting it Okay, thanks, Mike. So, yeah, you just, you know. Well, anyway, like and subscribe. Uh, oh, and yeah, big shout out to all of my subscribers. All 11 of you beautiful people. Thank you. You make my life worth living. <laughs> yeah, so, like, subscribe, and recommend me. So I don't have to kill myself. <laughs> I'm fucking kidding. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs>